All right, finally. It's Friday. And we get to chill out for two days. No stress, no mess. Um, we get to tend to uh, the Soul Garden. And enjoy being outside. But uh, look, man, I don't want to be a hopeless uh, optimist. But um, this could very well be the pattern I'm looking for. We close this gap, which we knew that was a risk right there. Um, don't really see another gap. Down. There's a little gap down here. We might go down and meet that, but this is what I want to see. I want to see this move down. I want to see us make a higher high, a higher low. Um, I'm, I'm feeling as though this, this move yesterday was a get out of the way for the report. Um, you know... Um, as a trader, I don't like to be in front of those reports. I know a lot of retail guys think, oh, if the report's good, it's going to rip. I'm going to get in it. Or if the report's bad, it's going to tank. So I'm going to get in it if the report comes out bad. But everybody I've been exposed to um, usually just waits and trades on the report. What does the report say? What's it going to do to the market? And then you get in. You know, um, you, you might miss five, ten percent of the move, but that's OK, because, you, you know, you're not in the game to make that five, ten percent of the move. You're in the game not to uh, be in the market when it goes the other way, when the announcement doesn't work in your favor and the market just tanks. So um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling I'm feeling like. Um, that was a get out of the way. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see what happens. Um, everybody's expecting it to come in hot, come in hot, come in hot. Oil's up. Rent's up. Yeah, you know, that's all you hear. And it's going to come in sizzling hot. Um, yeah, probably because we're looking at May. Um, and if everybody's expecting that, then it probably happened already. Um, yeah, you know, uh, so not probably happened. What I mean is I'm, I'm actually doing something and, and trying to talk at the same time. Um, so if everybody's expecting it, it's probably in the price already, right? Um, and it's May. We know May. But I'm looking around at what's going on in June, right? And um, I'm looking at uh, retail companies, stock full of inventory. Um, yo, chicken, a chicken <laughs> was um, like 12 or $13 a pound a few weeks ago. It, um, I think uh, I bought a chicken yesterday for like 8 bucks. Um and milk, man, I, I, I only um, use um, grass-fed, grass-finished dairy products. And uh, that baby was like $6 a gallon, $6 a half gallon um, last week or two weeks ago. And I just bought um, two half gallons for four seventy five each. Gas is still a bitch. And, um, you know, that's a Republican thing now, really, because they're just trying to make Biden look bad. They're putting their thumb screws to the Democrats because of all the restrictions that Democrats put on the industry. Um, and, you know, the primary is coming up or the midterm or other is coming up. And, um, yeah, you know, they're just putting the thumb screws to the Democrats. So we got to endure that. And that's a big deal because obviously it seeps into everything. But if you look around and you see it happening, you see you, you see things slowing down a little bit. And I know everybody keeps saying we're looking for the peak, we're looking for the peak, but, you, you know, I see it. I mean, nobody's easing up and, and life's not getting a whole bunch better, but you see the cracks in the inflation um, um, uh, bubble. So um, pay attention to that and think about that um, when you're buying. And even today, let's look at what how the market reacts. And we know the Fed's coming out with a 50, uh, 50 uh, percent um, height increase. Uh, rate increase. Wow, I'm all over the place. Um, so, well, I don't know. Again, um, am I being a, a, a hopeless optimist? I'm thinking, I'm just looking at the pattern right now, right? So, um, anyway, uh, we, we come down, we have this bearish divergence. The bearish divergence triggers. We're coming down again. 
we're obviously yet, yet making a higher high with momentum. I mean, this has really got to move to to get this momentum back into a bearish uh, um, tone. So what I'm looking for, um, I don't even want to see it go as low as um, the 3,900. Um, I'm thinking 3,978 might be the move somewhere around there and then, you know, away we go. Um, could be possible. And I don't think that um, this is the end of the bearish move. I think that um, we're going to start working back into this consolidation area. And I think we're going to get a better trading range. Uh, I know people are out there calling for the 35 and the 33, but yeah, you know, as they put it, they look at the, the Fibonacci and they say, hey, if we break 38, we're going to 35. I mean, yeah, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that, you, you know, um, and if we break 35, we're going to 32. Well, you know what? If we break 35, it doesn't mean we're going to 4,000, uh, obviously. So, yeah, you know, they, they, they say these things out there and they plant these seeds, but I mean, it's all... Um, pretty logical but is it necessary that's more the point is it necessary you, you know and I don't know that it's really necessary to make that move in the market I mean fundamentally I don't see a problem we're still not in recession um, the recession arena um, from from the low of, uh, of November where we made that double bottom, we've actually retraced um, 61%. Uh, that's November of 2020. So that's not a bad retrace, you know. That's that's a pretty healthy retrace on that very aggressive move up. And consolidation in here, um, and I don't mean this, this uh, little daily consolidation pattern, but consolidation in here over a longer term would be very, very healthy for the market. Build a nice foundation, get us ready for the next move. It's like, you know, it's just a matter of yeah, what's that next move going to be or um, can the market sustain um, or the economy sustain a next move for the market? And, um, I mean, obviously the confidence is not in Biden. Congratulations, everybody who voted for Biden. And it's not coincidental that it turned out like this. I mean, you can kind of see the forest for the cheese. I know the other choice wasn't the greatest, um, but it was still a better choice. Um, so if I go back to a low of July, even lower, um, we're at a 55% retracement. This is a really healthy area, really healthy area. And um, I kind of like that little consolidation we did the past few days. Um, this retrace seems to make sense that we had yesterday. I'm just trying to work this all out in my head and figure out where we're going to go. Um, I don't know what's up in the air. I mean, there's a lot of psychology in this, right? There's a lot of emotion, a lot of overreaction, and there's going to be um, an overshoot, right? There's always overshoot, and that's because of the algorithms and the pressures that major trading firms have, and they have the ability to um, move the market. They could do it not only in their buying power, but in their ability to manipulate the news and psychology with pushing markets and pushing securities different ways. So, um, you, you know, they may take advantage of this fear that they're pumping and um, push this bad boy um, lower, but I don't know how sustainable that, that'll be, you, you know. So, I mean, that's why you wait for confirmation of the move before you get it. So anyway, um, I'm going to watch today. Look at this, um, watch this pattern. I mean, ultimately, if we do get this trend reversal pattern, if we get this higher low than a break um, above this consolidation pattern, would be um, an entry on a swing trade. Right now, I'd just be sitting back, seeing what the feds do and see what that reaction is. Um, and if it comes out really bad and we shake that off, that's really positive, man. That means all the bad news is kind of in the market, you know. Um, if it comes out good, that means the news was in there and, and we just uh, um, shoot on up. I mean, that's encouraging. I like better when we shake off bad news. That's it's much more encouraging um, 
and, and just speaks to the strength of the mind. But um, anyway, I guess uh, you'll get my spin on it tomorrow. And we'll try to figure out what to do today. As far as uh, trading for the day, on my short-term charts, actually, you know what? I'm going to go to uh, futures charts. And so 30 minutes kind of in consolidation. Yeah, there's no no moves I would look at for the day. We got to get these um, these these um, these reports out, and then we'll understand what the market's going to do. You could look, watch the futures when the uh, reports come out, and you'll you'll have a good sense of what the day's going to look like. And really, if you look at the 240 and what that sets up. Um, then you'll have a better feel for the day. I mean, as the 240 goes, uh, is as the day goes, I feel. And depending on what um, platform you use, it's a four-hour chart. Um, some guys I talk to or don't understand what I'm saying when I tell them it's 240. Um, so a four-hour chart. And let's just take, well, yeah, you know what? We can go through Bitcoin. We can go through everything. I mean, the bottom line is, is it all means nothing until those reports come out and we see how the market reacts to it. Um, I'm just looking at the interest rates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we still see that divergence right there. And this is uh, yesterday's numbers. I think the, uh, the market's ticking up now. Nope. Yeah, the, yeah um, actually, the 10 years just easing off a little bit, but the, all the markets are flat at the moment. So, really, nothing to speak of, man. That's it. We're going to look at that, and, and that's how I'd like to see it play out. That could give me a confirmation on the SPX. It's not a bad pattern. I mean, we get a little divergence, go into a trend reversal. We could see um, a little move up or a consolidation, really. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be a trend reversal. It could um, also just be a uh, consolidation move. It's the end of the trend, um, really, those, those signals are giving us. If they trigger. All right. Um, let me not babble. If I keep going on, you may figure out I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, all right. Um, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. I appreciate um, all the attention. Um, a few comments always help. Um, Mr. Williams and Anthony, you guys have a good weekend. Once again, I just want to give a little shout out to you guys for uh, hanging in there and supporting the channel and sharing comments and things of that nature. And I'll catch you all later.